Hey guys, um, we are at another adventure of Dungeons and Dragons. I am SpookyX12, your DM. Today you can call me Hannah because today I'm not VTubing. Um, my pronouns are they, them, and um, I don't know what fun fact to give. I love butterflies and we're going to a butterfly we're going we're going to the butterfly place tomorrow right oh he's eating uh there is a butterfly farm kind of thing and it is fucking gorgeous and i've never oh. felt more safe in that neighborhood because they had like every house had like either black lives matter flags or pride flags i've never felt more safe in a neighborhood i was like shit if I don't live in the middle of the woods, this is my second place to go to. Can I just say, I like how Peter could have given you a thumbs up, but instead of doing that, he just pointed to his food. All right, <laughs> but sandwich. It's because Peter's I'm very, insensitive and wants very to look hungry. bad. Alternatively, honeycombs. Honeycombs are honeycombs. fucking delicious. Honeycomb? Honeycombs? Honeycombs. <laughs> <laughs> honeycombs. Not Shit. sponsored, but fuck if I wish we were. I mean, Did you try them? Hit us up. <laughs> Did you Did try you them? Enough for the rest. I did. I, I was. I was Do you like them? Sitting here eating. Yeah, I like them a lot. Yeah. I was sitting here eating a couple handfuls while I was fucking shoveling you who into my fucking gullet. Oh, I can give a better fun fact. Um, honeycombs hold a lot of nostalgia with me because whenever I went to my grandmother's house as a kid, she would either make me like sandwiches with like. Wonder Bread, so Wonder Bread also is a little nostalgic for me, I'm not gonna lie. But um, she'd also like give me a bowl of cereal with honeycombs in it, so I just associate that with her. I like it. Can I'll... you get the fuck Jeez. away from me? Get her no! I was gonna ask, Jeez. everything okay, Chris? Jeez. I'll save her for my fun fact. Okay. <laughs> hey, Chris, how are you? Hello, I'm Chris, otherwise known as Groomar Games <laughs> on YouTube. And fun fact, a spider just tried to connect to uh, my ceiling fan, and it just got yeeted around. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say it tried to connect to your Wi-Fi. We do have a password. <laughs> uh, it was just floating around, then it tried to attach to the ceiling fan, and then it just... <laughs> I love hate <laughs> Where the fuck is Curiosity? Oh no. Did someone say Kuriyami? Kuriyami? Uh, uh, Kuriyami City. City. Yeah. <laughs> my my rover. It hmm. says send a task message. I don't rover. See it I hardly chat. know her. Uh, <laughs> I see stream Wake up, elements, big boy. I don't see rover. Wake up. Yeah, same. Why'd you leave your keys up <sighs> on the table? Oh no. Oh no. Was it getting dark? Stop! <laughs> Actually, Peter and I got matching shirts. Uh, it, they're black shirts with white like pictures on them, and it's a picture of Curiosity, and it says his last message on it, it's getting dark. and Or my battery is low and it's getting dark. <laughs> it's yeah. right behind me. I can go grab it, too. No! It's bad as shit. Well, Curiosity Rover... I love you, and you are a good boy in my heart. I'll get you. Recharge your running. fucking batteries. I'll, I'll get you a triple A. <laughs> How are you, Chris? <laughs> How are I'm you okay. after that experience? <laughs> that was very funny to watch. <laughs> but yeah, that was that's it for me. Did you see where the spider went? Nope. But cool. Eh. Oh well. <laughs> I'm not scared of the spiders, so it's whatever. You are, are you... a lot bigger than them, so. How are you doing, Sean? Oh, I'm doing great. I don't have a single spider in my room as far as I know. So As far as you know. That is a lie. I'm aware it's a lie, but I haven't <laughs> seen one, so. Uh I'm Sean, TMG Sean on Twitch. I'll be playing Captain Selvit tonight. We both use he him. And Captain Selvit's fun fact is he's won every bar fight he's gotten into except for one, which was a wily little halfling that he could not catch. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. 
What's with you I mean, on he's tieflings? a dexterous boy, but... Hmm? What's with you on tieflings? I said halfling. Oh, my B. Linglings. Yingling beer, yes. Ugh. Would a tiefling and a halfling <sighs> make a lingling? Yeah, or a teeth half? Half teeth? Yes. Okay. Yes. Teeth teeth? Teeth teeth? <laughs> That's how Tinder was born. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bob. Ever since you mentioned it, I've been thinking about it. Um, remember when you were like, oh, yes, doing mouth exercises helps you lose your face? Yeah. That was Liv, I think, uh, right? No, Bob confirmed it. I've no, been doing no, it. Okay. That was Liv. Liv definitely said that. Yeah, Liv definitely I said that, but it. then Bob confirmed it. Oh. Yeah. I've been doing it. How's it look? Fucking mint. Oh, I think you look great all the time. Yeah. Mwah. I'm with Tasty. Mwah. Wow. How you doing, Bob? This is a gay moment. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, uh, literally, I texted my best friend who got me the job, and uh, and sh she was like, "Hey, so one of the higher ups is gonna come in and uh, straight train you." And I said, "Can they gay train me? I might learn better." And then he came in today and, I, and was like, "So how do I gay train you?" <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a different line of work. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, I should have looked at him and said I'm already gay trained. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How are you doing, Bob? Uh, Sorry. Bless nice. you. Well. <laughs> I'm doing well. Uh, hi, everybody. I am Bob, also known as Bloody Mess on Twitch, and I will be playing Quan Agi, the Erjnazi monk. Fun fact about Augie is that he likes honeycombs. <laughs> and I'm not talking about, like, the cereal. I'm talking, like, he, he will actively find some honeycombs and just, like, put an astral arm in there and just grab some honeycombs out. All right, and but I don't blame him. He's pissed off a lot of bees in his life. But he has. I don't blame him, he though. He likes it fresh. That shit delicious. <laughs> It really is. I thought the biggest bee in it. To be or not to be? Ooh. That's not the question here. Oh, God. <laughs> well, so actually. No in the well, actually. No, don't actually say that. I will cry. <laughs> wait, I was trying to wait. make bee's voice. Wait, oh, shit. I can, we can go and get the Dungeons and Daddies well actually oh, wait, pinned. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Hold on, hey. I can get B out. Hold on, let me bring B out. Hold on. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, 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 my D. <laughs> God, I want to fucking drown myself right now. I wish be I could careful be what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> How long can you hold your breath for underwater? Yes. I need, I need an estimate time. Like an hour... Unbelievable no. <laughs> to know this. Yo, I can't wait for that campaign. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Deadass. To um, so with our Welcome to the Arcanum channel that we're setting up, and I have links everywhere for, um, I believe Casey is going to be our first DM, and Bloody Mess and I are going to be her characters. Um, I'm going to play as B. Belladonna. Um, please don't miss out on B, who is quite a fucking experience. Uh, I don't know too much about catharsis, to be honest. I know so much about <laughs> catharsis now, and I'm excited. I forgot to mention Peter's also in it. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out my inner B. It's because your character is so forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> Young student, that's very rude. Sorry. Listen, I thought I was talking to another student. Uh, who are you? Your professor. Not my professor. <laughs> Maybe for kindergartners. <laughs> Peter's going to get bullied. He's going to get bullied. No, no, no. Hold on. He I looks like he just got me. out of kindergarten. I don't, I don't think that he's a teacher for kindergarten. Bob, I think he's still in there. We are gonna be a fucking wombo combo. <laughs> Dude, that is exactly why I told B. I was like, not B, oh my god, that's you. That's why I told Doe. That's exactly why I told Doe. I was like, Doe, the picture needs to be made 
specifically like this. <laughs> Very specifically like this. For, which, I don't know if any of you haven't seen the fan art. I got commissioned for the, um, the campaign. But Jesus fucking Christ. On point. Absolutely it's on so point. It's so good. It's so good. I'm just waiting for the inevitable moment of just... B, wake up! B, catharsis! I don't like this! Catharsis! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, hey Peter, how you doing after that fucking bullying session? <laughs> I don't have any cheese because you told me to put the Gouda back. You were not being well, a Gouda you boy. You're you also an adult. You could have taken Hannah? it anyway. Hannah, that was really cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We haven't been doing puns today. Oh, like several of them. Commands are down. Yeah, that's so. true. Oh, that's oh, true. Yeah. Eat my fucking asshole, down. Peter. <laughs> butt down, butt down. Damn, that's pepper jacked up. Wow. <laughs> All you right. know, I'm skipping over you. How are you doing, Casey? No. <laughs> that was yeah, already hard hard I'm doing cheese. so good. I'm doing so good. But actually, I need time to think because I'm gay and brain is smooth. Uh, Peter, what's up? <laughs> no, not Peter. Hi, Light. How are you? <laughs> oh, me! <laughs> right back at Peter. <laughs> no! All right. So last, on well, last session... Up. So I'm doing very well. I'm Peter. I'm playing oh, the oh. glorious, illustrious paladin of Palo, Martin Arrowareth. I just muted him. And that was his screen time. Back to Casey. Uh, so last time on Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Would you believe that Martin was killed off screen? <laughs> it was a red dragon. It was Palor. How are you doing, Shadow? <laughs> How are you doing? Peter? I am exhausted today. It was a long day. A vibe. Uh, but D&D &D time, so it's fun. Um, hello, we got a new shower head that rains on you. It's a great fucking okay, day. Yeah. <laughs> that. I, the shower yeah, head? I installed a new shower head. The new shower head, too. We have, a, we have two shower heads. One that rains and one that's a regular one. And when you turn on the regular one, it actually takes back a little bit. Bitch is powerful. A little bit. It has like a significant amount of recoil on it. I love it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's pretty cool. I installed that like, what, a couple hours ago? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what my Martin fact was going to be because I am brain dead right now. I uh, ate your Martin fact. It was tasty. What size boot does he wear? Brain. What size uh, boot he... does he lick? <laughs> oh, he licks any size boot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, what's his father's boot size? <laughs> I'm going to disassociate. Hold on. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you good, Peter? No. Alright, do you wanna lay down? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here and just relax for a bit and have a beer. That's unfortunate. He's gonna relax too okay. much and throw up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh no, that's only if I have like a shit ton of hard alcohol. You're a shit ton of hard alcohol. Damn. He's never gonna <laughs> recover. <laughs> Damn, got him. <laughs> yeah, I, oh See, shit, I'm never gonna care. <laughs> All right, are you gonna give a fun fact, Bob? I keep trying to think of it, but I can't. I can't think of it. Just skip me. Okay, okay. I'm I'm spiritually patting your head. Okay. Hi, Casey. How are you? Hi, I'm me. That's me. Hi. Um. Hi, I am Casey. CC. Whatever I feel of the day. Um. I play. Yami, the college star bard fighter. Uh, pronouns are they, she, and today's fun fact about Kuriyami is that she um, is secretly a huge fan of this uh, other idol group back home called, um, <laughs> called 
called Lost Children. <laughs> All of you? Oh, no, no, no. You just, you should have been there for their title track when it was originally nine members, but then one of them absconded. Yep. And now they're only eight. It's better this way, though. Oh, it's better this way. And for those who don't know, Casey is a fan of a eight-member K-pop group called Stray Kids. Now, now for Lost Children, their most popular track is uh, God's Platter. God's Platter, yes. Yep. <laughs> but currently, right now, with their um, their their newest track, uh, damn, a bitch is pulling a blank here. Uh. It's not. It's not poison. It's a. Uh, <laughs> it's a. Uh, help me out here. Help me out here, bro. I'm looking at you. Help me the fuck out here. Venom. No, no, no. That's the real name. We gotta think of the fake name. Toxin. I think toxin might work. Toxin poison might? would work. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. The um, title track. The title track for that wasn't that though. Fuck. Why oh, am I it was... oh, it was crazy. Actually, it was crazy. Or lunatic. Lunatic. It was actually lunatic the yeah. entire time. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I'm so lost right now. I lie, I like K-pop, okay? Same. So does Kuriyami. <laughs> so does Agi. Listen, they're K-pop idols. That's canon. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> um, Highlight, how are you? Hi. I think I'm doing okay. Better I'm be. your local edge light. He, him pronouns. I'm playing as Benedict and Lana, they, them pronouns. And fun fact of me, I had birth a birthday this Tuesday. That's awesome. Happy belated oh, happy birthday. birthday. Wait, it happy was your own, birthday. right? It was my birthday, yes. Okay, okay. good. Just checking. <laughs> you didn't take someone else's birthday, did you? I know it's really easy to just like, take those birthdays and stick them in your pocket sometimes. Kind of like taking people's names. I eat other people. <laughs> yeah, but then you just bring it back to life, so it's fine. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And I'm addicted to Divinity Original Sin 2. Okay. Good game. Um, I never finished it. I really need to finish it. Before we start, I have an announcement. Um, unfortunately, our beautiful and hot Minotaur <laughs> Barbarian... Uh, is no longer with us. Uh, she good? Are they good? Uh, they are moving into a new apartment and living their best life. So we're gonna miss you, Liv. We're gonna give you a really nice send off. Yeah. Um. That being said, last time on Dungeons and Dragons, um, you guys had finished the final battle. And last session, you just kind of had fun at the, the fair. Um, a lot of you guys got to experience taking a point of exhaustion from staying up all night. That was cool. Um, what else did you do? A lot of cotton candy was involved. A lot of coffee. Coffee with cotton candy in it. Um, and then Opal hey, had Opal gotten the part that you guys needed from the, the engine. Um, we're gonna retcon just a teensy bit because I said last session that you guys had gotten into the car and headed on your way. Um, I will say you guys wake up the next morning in your beds at that hotel room. Um, I already forgot the name. I just remember Pearl from uh, SpongeBob was one of the workers there. Um, Mother of Pearl? Yeah. yeah. One, of them, one of them was named Mother, the other was named Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> I try to make it fun for you guys. <laughs> so good. <laughs> um, Kuriyami, Augie, and Bookworm are all in the same bed. Um, I'll say that... Um, We'll say Kuriyami was in the center of the bed. You kind of reach over to feel where Seizia was, and instead you don't see where she is, and instead you see... Oh, well. 
you see her cell phone face up on the bed where her her spot usually is. I immediately just like reach for it. Okay. Um so you open up the phone? Yeah. You open up the phone and in it it opens directly up to a video. Um do you play it? Do you get everyone around first I'll... before you play it? I'll I won't wake anyone up. I'll just I'll, I'll get up as quietly as I can to the um see if I can see it without okay. waking them up. All right. So it's basically Sasia in the video. She's holding it selfie style and she says, "Hey guys, I wasn't really explained about the whole end of the world thing and now it's just kind of hitting me. I had joined originally because I thought I had to. But the more time I spent with you guys, the more I began to realize a little bit about myself. I hadn't felt like I had a real family for the longest time, and you guys made me feel like I had one again. As much as it hurts to leave you guys, I thought, well, if I were to spend the last few days of my life doing anything, I think I'd want to spend them with Winry. So this is going to be my last video, and it's for you guys. And then that's where it ends. Kuriyami kind of just sits there with the phone in her hand, and she just hugs it, and she's, like, crying a little bit. Casey's crying a little bit, fun fact. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but Kuriyami's going to cry a little bit. And she's like, oh, gosh, no. Oh, that's okay. Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> And she'll, um, she'll just, um, compose herself and be like, Okay, oh, hold on a second here. And she also takes a video, selfie style. And she goes, Oh boy. Sazie, I love you so much! I hope you have a happy life and I hope that Winry and you are happy together! And then she hits send to Winry. To Winry. Aww. Um, it takes 10 minutes, but you get a selfie of, and it's Winry holding the phone and Tasia's arm is around her and her child is in there and they do look really happy. Oh. Ugh, gosh, and it's going to be at that point where Kuriyami will, Whew, if that didn't wake them up, I don't know what did, but, um, Augie is up. She'll, um. You see her crying, and she's just like, I'm sorry, guys, but you guys should leave a nice little video. Each of you should. And send it to Winry, and send it to Sazia. Because Sazia is going to live her best life with with Winry. Uh, Augie is and... first going to hug you and make sure that you're okay first. Uh, are, are you sure? Are you uh... sure? <laughs> Uh, it seems like it's more Casey than it is Kuriyami at this moment. No, I'm in character. In. No, I'm in character. Oh, okay. In. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, you're doing a really good job then. Thank you. It's both. <laughs> it's both. I felt that I made you cry a little. <laughs> Listen, that means you're a good DM. Uh, he's gonna keep hugging you, and he's just gonna be, hey, hey, bookworm, can you can you go first? I'm just gonna take care of Kuriyami real quick. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks, uh, she'll also look over her shoulder and be like, just really quick, she did leave us a video, so if you want to play it and and then respond to it, go ahead. Martin's going to knock on the door. Hey, uh, I heard crying. What's going on? Oh. Ah! Oh, oh hey, no. Hey, Martin. Uh, it, it's okay. Um, I'm just, I'm going to take care of Kuriyami real quick. Bookworm, can, I'm sorry I'm putting a lot on your plate. Can you explain it to him? Like here in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, of course, of course. All right, thank, thank you. I really appreciate it. What? I explained it to him. What? All right. Kuriyami cries. Oh. Ah! It's, it's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll get Captain Silvert and Benedict and Lana and. You all better film your own individual goodbyes, and you loves hers. And, and make them personal! Uh, oh, oh, okay. And don't, Martin, you especially, do not hold the phone down here and double chin it. It's so embarrassing! 
It's fucking I only did that once. You've done it every time you've held the phone. <laughs> Which was only once. In fact, have someone hold the phone for you. <laughs> All right, let me just go get the rest of them. I go get the rest of them. All right, so Benedict and Lana is brought in. Um, Opal comes for moral support. Uh, Tinder is already in there. Oh God, Tinder, Tinder's gonna need a new babysitter. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, actually, I take let me. Tinder. I take Tinder. Put him close to me. Let me roll for Tinder's anxiety and see how he's doing. Bitch. Uh, he's still not doing hot. Yeah, I take Tinder to me, put him under the mushroom cap. Under the mushroom cap? <laughs> like, <laughs> the cap is basically my hair. So he is like sitting on oh. my head. You have but, a baby strap right on your chest. Then I put him in the baby strap. Thank you. <laughs> like he's got <laughs> the like your face? What's going on here? <laughs> no, the baby goes inside the head. <laughs> you ate the baby! <laughs> Trare, where's the baby? <laughs> <laughs> I put the tinder in the baby strap. That was a joke specifically for Peter. <laughs> I can explain it if we want. No. It's beautiful. No, it's not. It's magnificent. No, it's not. It's horrific. I love it. I'll oh, send to the God. Discord so they can at least get the reference. But yeah, so everyone's in the room. What do you guys do? Do you play the video? Uh, yeah. Just play the video the in front right of everybody so everyone can see it once. Alright. Okay, so, uh, so that's where she went. That's, that's well, what she said. Okay. At least we got a message. Uh, that, that's, yeah. that's good. I, I would have worried if they were just gone. Yeah, definitely. Never is. a good sign. Uh, do we do we want to start recording our messages for for Sazia and Winry? Someone's gonna have to help me. Uh, I don't know magic, so this box is really confusing to me. <laughs> don't worry, I know how to take really good angles. I got you. You are really good at that. Angles. I'm, very good at that. I'm so good at selfies. Do you so also fish? I, I do don't... not like fishing. You uh, hear? She's, she's... She's an angler, but not that kind of angler. No, I'm, I'm the angler. You hear under Tinder's breath, all your angles are good angles. Oh, my baby. <laughs> That's accurate, though. I can't. Anyway, I can't who's someone? Quickly, go go film your thing. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll take it. I... Uh, nice. Hey, was it in character burp or out of character burp? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That, that was great, Kuriyami. You, you're Thank doing you. great, sweetie. Hey, Cezia. I, uh... I just... We had a really solid, uh... Really solid start there at the beginning. And I'm not gonna lie, I think, uh... I think we kept that up the entire time that we were adventuring. And I just... I want to keep... Words are hard for me because I'm smooth brain, but uh, I want you to keep that same momentum in everything that you do. And just remember, all the principles of heaven and earth are living inside you. Life itself is the truth, and this will never change. Everything in heaven and earth breathes. Breath is the thread that ties creation together. When the myriad variations in the universal breath can be sensed, the individual techniques of the art of peace are born. I hope you have a great life. And I hope I see you again someday. Mm. And he hands that was it off. So good. That was so good. Who do you hand it off to? 
Uh, who wants to go next? Yeah, I'll I'll go next. All right, to bookworm. The baby. <laughs> Sazia, I'm I'm gonna miss you so much, but but I swear that we're gonna beat the stuffing out of whatever this thing is. And then we're going to come visit you in Winry and other and smaller Winry. We'll make it back to you. Don't worry. You guys are so cute. That's <laughs> it for me. Short and sweet. I like it. Okay. Uh, I'll take it next. Uh, Bookworm, can you show me what buttons I'm to press to, to send a thing? Do you want me to just record you? Hold on, wait, let me that... pick book I'll pick Bookworm up because he's a small boy, so he gets it at the right angle. Hi! <laughs> Alright, Bookworm. Oh, okay. I was just gonna climb up on the wall. This works. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, the cell phone prop. Um, right. Uncle Captain, it's recording. It's on. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, um... Okay, Sazia, I'm not one for uh, making fancy words all that much, but um, when you first burst through that door, I thought, oh dear God, this is going to be another problem. We're already dealing with so much with this beholder. Shit, shit, shit. And then you threw Augie at the thing. And that was really cool. Um, that's about it. I really hope you have a wonderful time with Winry, and we're going to kick this thing's ass so you can continue to do so. That's all the, I got. The moment Captain <laughs> said, Beholder, you hear all sl slowly in the background, so many eyes! And that was included in the recording. Can I just say, that was a struggle not to fucking bolt out laughing that entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> I think I think at the point where Selvat says, and then you threw Augie, you hear in the background. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad I could entertain. <laughs> what handsome, what handsome. Lana, do you want to go next or do you want me to? Well, Well, you'll go. I I can go. Yeah, you'll go. Uh, Kiriami? Yeah. Yeah, give me the fucking the... phone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <that>. exactly. <laughs> All right, hold on. Actually, Martin, do me a favor, because you look so awkward when you're standing. Sit down, sit down. I... I... Okay, all right. You look so awkward. You're awkward, you buddy. Take, Peter? Take off your helmet. Can you roll yeah, a, can a d20 for me? Oh. I see what's straight, happening now. Straight D20? <laughs> yep, just straight D20. Act mm. okay, 14. Okay. 14? Alright. Uh, I'll say you sit down. You don't look as awkward, but you look incredibly stiff. Okay, Martin, so Martin, like shimmy, me. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Real life, me. Let it shimmy. Wait, Martin, do what I do. Ready? I don't want to, though. Martin, look at me. <laughs> Oh, okay, um... No, 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 the arms, the arms too, the arms too. Oh, uh, 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 shake your titties. Uh, okay. <laughs> My what? <laughs> you heard her. Huh? Shake your titties. I don't just know what do that it. means. Just do it. No, just... No, no, no. He just your breasts. Tinder and... Shake your breasts, man. Oh. <laughs> he shakes Tinder Martin. and the kitty. Well, you can say that. I have All right. Tinder. Alright, I think I he's... I think he's awkward, Leslie. Another. Here you go, Martin. All right, right. Hold. Wait. Okay. Okay, okay Martin. Just say go when ready. And go. Says yeah. Uh, similar to Captain Self, when you first burst through that door, I, I'll, I'll admit I was absolutely terrified because something with the bicep the size of my head is charging in through a wooden door and. We were already dealing with a beholder, but... So many eyes! <laughs> but... I've come to respect you a lot. I know... 
dealing with everything we've been dealing with is... It's more than you can be asked to do. It's more than you should have to do. You didn't sign up for this. You didn't ask for anything. I, I respect that you've come with us so far. and I, I'm glad you and Winry are spending time together. You deserve this happiness. All right, Kami, Kami you can uh, uh, turn off okay, the video. Okay, okay, okay. That's also included in the recording. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Who? Who's next? Who's next? Uh, Bennett, Lana? It's me. It's us. Hey, Lana. You have to hold. We don't oh, know. Okay. You remember when we had to ha have this really big stone screen? It did not work out. We just pressed buttons. Okay, I got you. I got you. All right, and. Ready, set, boop. Hello, Sazia. We, we three, me, Tinder, and Lana, we will miss you a lot. As soon as I get over my fear, I will come visit you and want my rematch. And we will bring Tinder, hopefully. And we will make a totem for you. That will resemble you and will be coming with us as a little good luck charm. And because I don't want to be the only one speaking. And for a moment... It looks like we fall over, going back, and now is Lana speaking. So, you can put some words into Spooky. As Lana? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um... You were not prepared for that, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uno reverse. <laughs> um, Lana says... I know we'd only known each other for a short time, but your video and photography skills were amazing. And I'm going to genuinely miss you and the work that you've done. You're still a friend, whether you're here or not. And you're still family with me and Benedict. Um, and then after you finish the recording, Mm -hmm. Tinder kind of sits up a little bit and says, mm -hmm. "I'll zoom in on Tinder's face too, like not like full blown like just face, but like yeah. like that cute little like when you're zooming in on your pet." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Tinder like says, that. "I know I'm really small, and the last few times we've seen each other, I wasn't doing good, but I'm gonna get better for you." Because I have to, so I can see you again. Oh. And then he just knocks back out again. Oh. I'll edit that part of him knocking out. At, like, out. Yeah. For, for respect. <laughs> the poor baby. Okay, guys. We have all of our videos on here. Um, I'm gonna compile them and make a cute little video out of all of it with some really sad, sentimental background. And, um... I'll send it to Sazia. Sounds good. Oh, did you not send Sazia your video yet? Oh, I absolutely did. Oh, okay. I'm gonna include. I'm gonna put it in there again. <laughs> it's literally just Korean <laughs> cool sobbing. <laughs> she literally couldn't compose herself to find the words, so she's just like, "I love you." <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> we're we're getting there. We're getting okay, there. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Are we good? Mm -hmm. That wasn't good? just me, right? That, that no, 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 no. I, I, <laughs> saw, uh, I thought it was my brain. I thought it was my brain. <laughs> part, mm -hmm. part tip or that? Yeah, your computer's so kind of on one. Brain? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Wait, is it currently? You're yeah, good now. It's kinda, like, yeah. It's lagging. You're good now, but you were frozen for like a good like two seconds. Oh, yeah. I hate it here. It was like desynced like 
So your talking wasn't lining up with your speech. It was weird. It was, I, oh, I audio video that just was my brain. I just need to have a better computer. That's all. But computers are money. We'll mm -hmm. get to that. Good news is because uh, Ethereum's fucking crashing and burning. Thank God. Uh, computer parts are getting way cheaper. So oh, nice. I can really finally have a reasonably computer. priced now. Yeah. Oh, speaking of uh, Hannah, I'm gonna get you a whole ass desktop so that I can have my laptop back. <laughs> you don't even I'm use it! Best. I don't you use don't... it because I leave it here for you. That sounds like Peter a choice has a point. you made. He oh, can no, take it whenever he wants! Like I was about to say, that sounds like a choice you that Peter though. made. Okay, Peter, but it's... You still... If you literally talked to Hannah, I was like, Hey, Hannah, can I have my computer, please? Why are you Hannah fighting? He's saying he's, he's going to buy Hannah a brand new computer and you're fighting no, him not. about it. I'm because fighting him because he's gaslighting me. <laughs> Argumentative. Argumentative. Peter, just build yourself a new computer. You deserve it. <laughs> With all the Warhammer Mine's... eyes, no, he doesn't. <laughs> build yourself yeah, like a new computer. computer. Each, each Warhammer model is ridiculously priced. Getting one of them is like way too much. It's like I get one a month. Benny. Benny. All right. So, do you guys do anything else? Uh, um, I don't know. Does anybody else want to do anything? I feel sad. Um, Kriyami will, like, look at everyone and be like, do you, does anyone here mind if I keep the phone? I want to start vlogging like Sazia kind of did, but not really officially, but really only to Winry. Of course. Well, we all know that I have Kuriyami... no clue how to use it. Please take it. Keep it away from me. We all know Kuriyami would be really good at that job and would deserve 1650 an hour. Oh, absolutely. In Minimum, fact, if not I, I'm more. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure some would say that Kuriyami would definitely deserve more than that, but just could not promise that. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I, I think it'd be good if you had the phone. I agree. Okay. I'm going to take so many good guys and then I'll be using them as album covers. Yes. Whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> I got chicken Alfredo. It's fucking top. Nice. Um. All right. Um. So, I assume you guys are in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So you guys head out. Opal's driving you guys. Um. And she had alerted you that you guys are going to be at a giant ship. Um, as you guys drive through, um, you end up at this very large field of kelp. Um, she parks next to it. And Opal says, all right, we have to walk at least a mile through the kelp to get to the ship. Are we not able to drive through it? There's no path, and it's kind of like driving through a forest. I don't know what that means. It, uh, so you know how you have a road, and you have like a cart and a horse? Oh, that makes sense then. Yeah. Alright. This road is too small for our cart and horse. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> um, we go ahead. Oh, I thought you were going to say something like. Nope. Oh, okay. Maybe. Um, so you guys, uh, I don't know how long it takes to walk a mile, but I would walk 500 miles. And I would walk 500 more. Just for my <laughs> girlfriend, Casey. And I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more to be the man who All right, it takes 15 to 22 hours. minutes depending on how fast you're walking. How fast are you guys walking? Oh, I'm fast as fuck. Um, <laughs> oh, my walk. usual pace. We gay walk. We gay walk out here. But consider. Fast as fuck. Is anyone carrying bookworm? I would I gladly. <laughs> Listen, my Bookworm has so many people who would carry him. Bookworm, it's you true. were sitting on me so many times. You can sit on my mushroom cap again. 
<laughs> or you okay. can have I a can, piggyback. I can walk. <laughs> nah, piggyback ride time. Let's no, you go. Sit, you should sit on Benedict and Lana. That way they become un, uh, encumbered. Right. Okay, they have two bodies on them now. <laughs> is Martin also you sitting on Benedict and Lana? <laughs> no. <May> as well. <laughs> no. The slowest like. boy. <laughs> The moment Sorry. you try, I always step two steps forward that you fall flat down. Your speed becomes zero. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, yeah, what's up? Um, would you consider kelp technically a plant? Yes. It is a plant. I, I would like to. Like, are we in the kelp yet? Um, you're right in front of it. Okay, I'll approach the kelp. Yeah, and I would like to cast Speak with Plants, please. Alright, you and... you speak with plants and you just hear mm -hmm. um the like the jellyfish music from SpongeBob and you keep hearing <laughs> them go, We are wet! The wettest we will be and they just keep singing that. Oh my goodness, wait a minute. <laughs> Kriyama kinda just keeps singing. Oh my god, wait, this is kind of a bop. Wait. Hi. Hi, Kelp. What's up? Um, My name's Kuriyami. I like your beats. You hear another kelp singing WAP. <laughs> Get a bucket and a mop? <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop these what, what bees. Is, what this does is that mean? They're singing very different music. <laughs> well, you're telling me that that these little fucking plants they, look, no, are they talk, singing. They talk. <laughs> they sing and they fuck. They fuck. They're making it the very plants. apparent. They're making it they very apparent. What? Oh, oh, with a. Oh. Oh. Sexy, wet little plants. Oh my goodness. Wait, are any of them singing Cupcake? Yes. They are specifically Is it singing. in your toes? Specifically Squidward's nose. Oh my god, wait, who's Squidward? <gasps> who's Squidward and why is his nose so big? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the what? What does any can, of this mean? Can the rest of us hear this, or I can think... I project? I'm scared. Oh, wait, can I, I, I project? Just, as far as I know, we're just seeing Kuriyami talking to Kelp and just going like, "Oh my god!" Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's what I think we're seeing. Can I like... project what I'm hearing? Uh, like, you are through, through some Kalistar stuff. I was about to say you are a Kalistar, so I'm pretty sure you can just like automatically link up. I'm gonna look over at Augie and be like, Augie, get this, and I'll link up. <laughs> and you just kind of, you just kind of, okay, they all right. Fuck, they got some sick beads. <laughs> Yo, they got We're... sick. They fucking though. They, they are <laughs> they fucking. Certainly they certainly fucking. They are certainly fucking. And I'm gonna look over at, I'm gonna look over at Captain and I'm like Captain, get a load of this. <laughs> get a load of what? Who? Oh. oh. And then you... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the bees fresh though. Or did they go insane? I don't know. I'm no, all like, cursed? Curse? Is the What's... bee fresh? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna look over at Martin and be like, Martin? What? Actually, Martin, Martin, you're such a square. You wouldn't enjoy this, but let's go. Kind of... Let's go. Martin's Do you link up Martin? I link up Martin. <laughs> uh, you hear one of the kelps <laughs> saying out, Hey, sexy little man, let me wrap myself around ya. <laughs> what? We're getting in the car and we're driving around. Martin, Martin, look at me. But the beat fresh, though, right? I got the beat, the beat was fresh. Uh, of all time, I did not have curiosity. <laughs> we are going around this. We are like... finding a way around this. I don't want to touch this. <laughs> Wait, can you I hear? To find the least explicit patch of kelp <laughs> i just need martin to know that he that he hears there's no way around this wet ass <laughs> <laughs> where's the least explicit amount of kelp <laughs> at the center okay 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 i need what are they singing what's like the most pg-13 thing that they're singing uh kids bop wap <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll project that to, um, I'll link that up with Bookworm, and then after Bookworm, we'll do Benedict and Lana, and then after that, we'll do Tinder. Here we go. Fun song for Spongebob. <laughs> F is for fuck, my dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> you Another. 
<laughs> Another pass, you just hear them go, F is for friends who do stuff together. <laughs> oh, oh, I got one. N is for anywhere in any hole at all. <laughs> Down here in the deep, deep, deep blue balls. <laughs> Randomly, it's not gay if it's in a three way. <laughs> With the honey in the middle, there's some leeway. Oh, shit, you're all gonna kill me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess I make us the way and I take out my sickle. No! <laughs> no! Okay. I, I will actively throw my body in front of these cows. They're making sick beats. If they wanna fuck, let them fuck. That's um, murder! Benedict and Lana, do you actually knock one over? Or, like, try to cut yes. one? I cut one. Is he mind linked? Yes. You hear harder, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I take a bigger swing! <laughs> oh my god, stop! You hear, like, a hundred different cows go, ah. <laughs> oh my god. You hear one of them go, I'm almost there! <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking. I'm. You know what I'm doing? You know what? All of a sudden, Augie, and she's gonna climb up on your back. She's like, I don't wanna yep. be here anymore. Are you okay, thirsty, we're, we're Papa? Oh, not the Papa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Poppy! I have an idea. I Wait, can I light them on fire. Martin, we're underwater. Oh yeah. Go I have an idea. I can singe them with radiant light. Oh, to leave the kelp alone. Let them be thirsty. I don't want to go near them when they're like that. <laughs> you don't want to join the kelp orgy? No! Wait, 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 Hannah, are they saying consent is sexy at all? They are, yes. They're saying consent is sexy, Martin, so if you don't want to do it, guess what? You don't fucking have to do anything with them, we just gotta walk by them. You gotta at okay. least- You let's, gotta be okay with their existence. Let's be real, though. Okay. It's not sex if there's con if there's no consent. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, we can How go about them. that? I already have a child in front of me in this little baby patch. I will take you on my hand and everything will be fine. Let's go through the. And the if you feel okay. threatened, I have a sickle. Let's go through the horny kelp, boys and girls. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put the sickle away though. I will, I will scooch, like, like, squirt, not squirt, wow, scooch down. <laughs> you, oh, curry on squirts? I hate it here. <laughs> I hate it here. Anyway, she'll, she'll, uh, crouch down really quick and just maybe see. She's like, hey, yeah, I'm here for these sick beats, boys and girls. Um, really quick, though, could you let me know if there's any sexy, dangerous monsters up ahead? Oh, trust me, every monster's sexy. And dangerous. Oh, that makes them even sexier. Right? Has there ever been like sexy monsters that like rip the kelp apart? Uh, they're not vegan. They're not vegan. No. Okay, so they leave you alone. They leave us alone. Oh damn, that must be disappointing. I know, right? I wish their teeth would just rip me open. Oh, they have teeth. Awesome. Oh, very big, sharp. Teeth. Oh my god, wait. Tell me how big they are. Like, super fucking big. Holy shit. That's so <laughs> cool. That looks so awesome. Oh, yeah. Augie is I'm pretty sure they'd like a bite out of you, though. Peter Kinda is jealous. associating. Ah! <laughs> kind of jealous. Oh my gosh. No, girl, you are skinny and thriving. What are you talking about? Yeah, watch me fucking wiggle and you see the cow go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, so good, so good. Alrighty. Well, thank you. Um, I hope you continue to have a phenomenal time, and I'm gonna fucking shut this spell down immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anybody hang up a spell, but that just happened in my head. Yeah. Alright, uh, Kuriyami takes out her phone really quick. Oh my gosh. Hi guys, this is Kuriyami's vlog day one. Um, I'm out Are you here still with my on my group. back? 
Yes. I'm out here with the group, and here's Augie. Um, so we just talked to some horny cows. That was interesting. Um, they want to do degenerate things to every single wanted, thing. They wanted a bucket and a mop for that wet ass. Um, oh! Anyway. Kelpie. <laughs> Kelpie. Kelpie. Um, Wait, isn't yeah, that a monster? So like, Fuck. Oh my goodness. So, like, up ahead, yes. and while yeah. I'm doing this, I'm, like, looking at all of you. I'm like, so... The kelp did say there's some monsters up ahead with sharp teeth, and they were huge, and they did emphasize on the huge in a very uh, innuendous way. Um, that's okay. That's the kelp's lifestyle, and we don't judge them for that. I will say, though, we should be careful trekking forward. But yeah, that's my day one, and I'll update you guys on if we die or not. Bye! <laughs> How would you update them if we die? I will. Don't worry. I'll find a way. Okay. It's called, um, having a post ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Selvin doesn't know what that means. Kuriyami didn't either, but then she learned quick. By the way, Kuriyami, if you ever link my mind with horny plants again, I cannot be held responsible for my actions. Very valid. I don't want to, I don't want to have that happen again either. That was very interesting. That was hilarious. <laughs> the beats were sick. Oh, no, no. The beats were sick. They were just also very horny. <laughs> And solve it. I don't do know. You... I'm just not going to think about that. Do you What's have any more of the pink? Oh, yes, absolutely. Hold on. Uh, hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 Martin. We're about to walk into horny kelp, and there's a monster that's huge with sharp teeth. We should be careful. So I'll only that's... give him the one. Like a drop. Like a drop. Like a ton. <laughs> they did not say one. They did not mm. say one. Mm. <laughs> maybe more maybe more than one who knows well if we're still in the kelp forest then I can slow them down I don't think you have to worry about the kelp getting slowed down there buddy <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be going on all night I think he was yeah. talking about the monster oh yeah oh. <laughs> I was never mind <laughs> I forget that said anything Kuriyami out <laughs> <laughs> um, how long did you say it takes to walk? A Fifteen mile? to twenty-two minutes. Um, I'm guessing it would take at least twenty-two if we're also walking through like a kelp forest and not just like straight path. Okay. And also, you're trying to avoid the, the kelp. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Very much. All right. Well, that's. The I mean, for Martin, it would be the safest way to walk behind me because of my big mushroom cap. It always pushes the kelp aside. He has a shield. True. <laughs> a shield that can get entangled oh. in the kelp. I have the wrong book. I was like, why That's can't right. I find this fucking monster? It's not in Taldori. Which one? Yeah. It's in the uh, I have it with me. Okay. I was. Can we know what hit. book it is? Get a little hint. <laughs> yeah, it's the book about water occurrences. Call of the Nether. Nope, this is. Oh, I salt marsh. knew it. Also salt marsh. It's salt marsh. Oh god. No, I need Call of the Nether Deep. Oh, okay, I think right I have here. that. Yeah, I do. It's right here. Give it. Give it. Because I don't have access to that content. So we are fighting Molochs. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna wait till Peter gets here. Thank you, baby. Oh. Martin and I need this. <laughs> oh God, Salvador sure too. Do we have any sort of like? Can you not fucking throw up tonight, please? But I want to. He just wants to hang out in the shower. So he's just gonna throw up in the shower and hang out in there. Not in my nice new fucking shower. They just replaced I'm the grabbing head. a cream soda. No, now the whole shower is new. All right, you don't understand. The new shower head makes it a whole new shower. It does. That. Damn. Yup, and I hate it. 
just want to say I do have some really nice rum. Oh, and I really want some right now. All right. Save it for tomorrow night. I have crippling depression. Me too. So it takes yeah. me about 20 minutes to walk through the horny grass. Um, Martin, you as you're walking, you feel one cow just kind of slide across your face. Oh! <laughs> it touched me! That might just be because we're walking through it, well, Martin. You know, maybe. Hold on, let me let me check. You heard right. what they said. I want to know. I, it's wait, not, wait, wait, wait. It's, it's fine, Martin. No, Hannah. I want to know. I want to know what it's thinking. I want to know what. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cast the spell again. Okay. Oh no. I want to know. Uh, it's just on loop, repeat, sexy back. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. <laughs> That's a bee. Maybe. Really? Wait, I'm going to look over the kelp. Really? About Martin? Really? Oh, <laughs> uh, you hear yeah. You Wait. hear the kelp just go. It's what the DM thinks. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Wait, Kuri, I mean, what do you say? What? what? They said it's what the DM thinks. And I'm, I'm assuming that means the, um, the dominant, um, not not wrong, about kelp. I think. I think it's no, the no, dominant no, master. I was going to say, which kind of dungeon master, master are we talking about, though? <laughs> no, no, no. Dominant master. She's not wrong. That's what I think. <clears throat> All right. So uh, after 20 minutes, you get to the edge, um, and you see a giant cylindrical, like a dark green kind of ship <clears throat> made out of metal with a giant... Hole. Um, what you see on roll 20, that black circle, is actually the hole of the ship. And that oh, that's dot. The hole. Yes, that you can enter the ship with. Okay. Um, the hole the... in the ship or. Peter. <laughs> I, I, I'm so dumb, the brown okay? line is the yeah. ship. Yeah. Okay. Yes, the line is the ship. The, the black circle is the hole in which you can enter the ship. It looks as though it was like hit and then it fell and was broken open in that area um the blue dot is going to represent you guys um <coughs> as a whole party um so what is everyone's walking speed because i'm just going to average it out or 30 30 hold on hold on hold on <laughs> we're gonna go in order because i'm dumb um, standard is 30 for everyone I need... Except Augie. Bookworm? 30. And... Salvit? 30. And Augie? 50. Jesus. And Martin? 30. And Kuriami? 30. And <coughs> Bendict and Lana? 30. And then I am gonna look for Opal. Thirty. You know, if I'd have to wager a guess, I'm gonna fight everyone here. <laughs> okay, but like, do it. You're already doing it. To be fair. God, I wish I could read. It'd be, <clears throat> it'd be nice. All right, then we'll move on to okay, four, five, six, seven, eight. Divide by eight. So about 33 feet. So we're going to say 35. You, so as a team, you can walk 35 feet. Um, we're going to... So you could probably get about here one round. And then another round here. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, what do you do? Is the area still Kelby? Uh, the center is completely barren. Actually, I wrote something really nice. And then I didn't write anything beyond that. <clears throat> um, after a day of travel, the party arrives at a cylindrical metal tube. Um, for you guys, for your information, it's an older style submarine. 
Um, it sip, sits beneath open waters. Um, it is nighttime right now. It did take a little bit to get there and then a little bit to walk through the sex of kelp. Um, so it sits beneath open waters and three of Neptune's 14 moons can be seen above the surface. Uh, streaks of light dance around the illuminated ship. Towards the bottom is a hole where the party members can enter quite easily. Should, should we move forward? Yeah. Mm. I, I see so. no imminent danger. <clears throat> Ten looks um, safe. Who um, walks really the hole? Hold on. Yes. I have a. I have a. Okay. So we're in. Are we in the boat or are we outside of it? Outside. You are on the outside rim oh. of the kelp, so you're still in the kelp. Mm hmm. Um, Kuriyami would like to. Hey guys, can we take like a quick 10, 10 minute break for a sec? Quick oh, 10. Don't forget, you all walk rested too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we take a quick 10 minute break? I want to I wanna try something here. I want to I wanna try something. And uh, she wants to touch the boat. And for the next 10 minutes, uh, she would like to try casting Legend Lore. Um, well, we're like 100 feet from the boat right yeah, now. Yeah, oh, are... we are? Sorry, I thought, I thought you said we were in front of it. We Sorry. are the point, and no. the boat so, is up there. So, on roll 20, you'll see a blue dot. That is your entire party. Um, the brown circle, or the brown I line, see. is the boat, and the black circle is the hole. Let me see if I have to touch this thing to be able to cast the spell. Let me double check. Let's see. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So I can name or describe a person, place, or object. So I'm gonna describe the boat. I'm gonna describe in heavy detail, whatever, like every inch that I can see about the boat, I'll describe it. So what Legend Lore does, let me actually hit the cast button so it'll pop the fuck up for us. Um, hold on. It is a it's a it's a bit of a beefy spell. Uh, like not like <clears throat> like ouchy beefy, but like That's just smacking. It's, it's, it's got it's got a lot going on for it. So, um the lore might consist of current tales, forgotten stories, or even stuff that has never been wildly known. If the thing uh you named isn't of legendary importance, you gain no information. Uh, the more information you already have about the thing, the more precise and detailed the information you receive is. So, that'll be up to you, Hannah. Okay. I but... think I'm going to describe it to you well, but in a cryptic kind of way. That's okay, that's okay. Like a riddle, but it's going to be a little obvious. Okay, okay. Alright. Um, is it just you who knows? Yes. All right. Uh, you close your eyes after describing it, and it's almost like you feel these wisps of smoke around you, and you see it dancing behind your eyes. And it's almost like a picture book with ink and um, watercolor forming in front of your eyes. Mm -hmm. um, and you see the submarine, and um, you hear, during the war... Many men lived, but many men died. As we fell, everyone was forced to see both their past, present, and future. Oh, really quick. I don't want to interrupt you. I just want to say, as this is coming to Kuriyami, like, um, her eyes are probably blacked out, but she wants to repeat everything that's coming into her head. Like, once she, like, once it gets into her head, she'll just repeat what's coming out of her mouth. Okay. Um... Let me, let me, I'm trying to, like, think of a nice way to say it that's poetic uh, mm -hmm. and fancy. Um, a hold the war, men fought many wars, but lost countless battles. Um, the Lord foretold its own demise. And as it fell, men untold lost their lives. As they sank, um, 
uh, water in their lungs. The few who survived um, built new lives. Those who stayed still remain. Oh. Sorry, that was just my sister. Those who stayed still remain, and now those who enter are forced to see their past, present, and future. All right. Um, so yeah, Kariyami repeats all of that, but it looks super creepy. And then she uh, snaps out of it, and she's like, <gasps> Okay, that was weird. <laughs> you talking to the kelp again? No, 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 I was actually... Um, so there was a spell that I... Um, that Katarath kind of told me about, and he helped me a little bit with it. Um, uh, so I was trying to learn the history of that big bitch over there, and that's what came out. Wait, are you talking about the spell Legend Lore? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> I know that spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what it gave me. Um, would you guys like to help me maybe get some insight on that because I have a smooth brain and I'm not quite sure what it meant by that. I think um, it meant to punch the ship. I don't think it meant that at all. Yeah, I am... Okay, I'm out of ideas. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Detect Magic on myself. <laughs> on yourself? I, I can't cast on anyone else. I mean, I could cast on someone else, but, like, I'm casting it so I can sense magic... 30 feet around me, and I'm gonna get uh, close to the ship. 30 feet, you don't feel anything. You feel Kuriyami, and uh, you feel Bookworm, Bendik and Lana, oh. Tinder. Guys, he thinks Augie. we're magical. Augie's head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, head towards the uh, submarine. Alright, does anyone else want to join me? I'm gonna... Yeah. Investigate this. And we should think, stick together. Yeah. We already think, wanted to go there. I think yeah. whatever's in there, maybe the kelp was onto something when I was never talking about sharp teeth, so let's be prepared for that. Alright, so you guys as a team can walk yeah. 35 feet together. Um. Also, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be right back. I just wanna double check and make sure Brianna's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you guys walk out. We, we stay in the kelp. I. I we need I to go in there, think, correct? I think we, Hannah wants us to agree to move as a whole, hence the single dot. Would that I, be a correct assessment? That is a very correct assessment. I'm, I'm sorry. I think we should still keep us in the kelp, even if you don't like it. Mother, well, we, we need go. to go to the hole. Sitting yeah. here is not going to do anything. Exactly. If the kelp gives us cover if something if comes. If happens, we just fight it. It's fine. It's Gucci. Right, but my, my point is, what are we to do? Like, how long do we sit here? No, we go towards it, but try to stay in the kelp. There is no oh, kelp no, near no. the hole. The, yeah, kelp, the so, kelp forest ends here. So basically, that wouldn't be an option. I'm just going to... This isn't this isn't me trying to be inappropriate. I'm gonna give you give you a visual because that's how I process things better. This is no disrespect on you. Um, and I might not have explained it well enough. So this imagine is the ship. Can you see that? All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool beans. Um, it's basically like that. And you're here. Okay, because the moment you said we are still on in the kelp, it was for me like a straight line to the boat and then the rest to the hole is open. Oh, okay. No, that was my be describing that, but I hope that the visual helped. That helped, yes. Okay. Again, no disrespect, it's just that's how I process things better. Now I know See. how it's really looking like. Yeah, then straight to it. Okay. Fastest way possible. <laughs> That's... As, we, as we're going along. 
I didn't really like the ending to that story. It's bothering me. Hmm. See the uh, past, what was the ending to it? Uh, you are forced to confront your past, present, and future once you enter mm. the ship. We've already done that already. That's true. We don't need to do that Wait, again. We... And even if How... we do, it'll be fine. I mean, it can't be literal, can it? Like, we can't literally confront all three of those at the same time, right? <sighs> What does it mean? Like, like you have to confront your past, present, and future. Like, like. So I heard this story when I was a wee, wee baby, called uh, a Christmas Carol. Okay, it was about a a man who was very greedy, and he was visited by ghosts that told him to stop being greedy. So, please watch out for any ghosts that may be attacking me. Please. I heard that once, but it was it was three snails, and they told me to stop eating. Cheese after Augie, three in the morning. No, 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 Augie, Augie, remember that's when you got food poisoning. Uh, yeah, I, I hallucinated. <laughs> you were, Captain, you were getting fever Are you dreams. saying that you are greedy? Absolutely. Have you met me? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember when the the cans that were outside they started talking to me? That was cool. Uh, no, Augie, Augie, that that really happened. That ah ah see, see one of these things happened. I wasn't hallucinating for one of them. So why is it a bad thing that you don't get greedy when you talk to these three ghosts, if it's that what you're talking about? They're ghosts. They're scared. I don't want to talk to ghosts. Wait, are you afraid they're going to, like, do whatever it is they did to that storybook character? To How did it had that story end, by the way? I don't know, something about a sick kid getting better or something. Oh, me. Okay. Hello, Wait, no, hang on. Ooh, I, know, nice. I know what to do. You don't want to talk to ghosts? It'd be a real shame if a spooky arm just came out of nowhere and said hello. Aggie, I've don't seen your astral arms. Hold on, turn your arm upside down. Me, me. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I mean... Wait, no, the ghost! Uh, I... I think they mean the tattoo. There you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I have the baby. Don't be greedy. Oh, he's the baby. That's so spooky. Oh, shit, a ghost. The baby. Uh, <laughs> chop off Bob's arm. <laughs> hey, baby cat. Hey, hey yo, baby if cat. I do this, he jumps. He's so good. He's doing his best. <laughs> Look at baby cat. Good boy. He's got lips. I can always channel the ability to turn the unholy. Like, Undead or ghosts. So we have nothing to fear then. I say we go for it. What, are you doing? what if no, I turn the ship doing? into a microwave by casting chain <laughs> lightning on the ship? <laughs> hmm. What if that I don't destroys think that would work? I don't, what if, but what if we both did it at the same time? <laughs> no! If we did it at the same time, it's a super microwave. <laughs> What's a microwave? I don't know. But it sounds cool. Maybe I saw it in a dream or something. It's the snails. Yeah. The snails told me about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you guys move ahead? Yeah. Um, yeah. Look at the boy. He's so good. Oh, no. He's bad. He's bad. He said I'm active. I just said, I just said you were good. Oh, Mimi, can I have that? Oh, Mimi. No. no. <laughs> he wants to play with it. No. <laughs> He said, oh, what? I'm a cat. I play with mice. All right. He does not. Oh, and now he's sitting himself on my desk. So you move ahead. At least it's not a private area. That's yeah. True. Give it give it a sec. You guys move ahead as a unit about 20 feet. Everyone roll perception. Mimi, me, me. stop it. Stop it. One, baby. You don't see shit. Is it daytime? It is nighttime. I'm still thinking about the what? horny kelp. So am I. It's a hatch. I got okay. a 19, too. Okay. Sweetheart? I got uh, 23. Oh, look at the boy. <laughs> He's just staring. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a smart lad. <laughs> Look at his goofy ass. 
Ah, I love that kid. Boy. I can't wait to see him again. What are you doing? What are you doing? He said he's yeah. so big. He's tiny. He is small. I think he's it's a tiny. camera angle. But like, All right. Oh, he got so it. big. So yeah. quick. Dang it. Look at these. Oh, these are so piece of shit boys. I, I will say... Augie? Yeah. yeah. You are the only one to notice. Oh, shit. Um... What is this? Okay. You see coming over the ship and coming towards you very quickly. A creature. Real quick. I'm sorry I'm interrupting. Portent rolls and mushroom rolls? Have we done those recently? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. But you I was that too now? nice to and not. And headstone rolls. I do not want it to interrupt Spooky and everyone else. That's why so I did not say anything. <laughs> I completely forgot those were a thing. I also forgot that was a thing, and I am sorry. Just, I saw you rolled two <laughs> dice, and I was like, "Wait, you roll two dice for things? What was that thing again?" We've also had days where like nothing really badly or anything happened, where y'all just goofed. Yeah. So mushroom is eight. My head is seven. You have octo hands. You have advantage on grapples. Yay. Oh, um, God. I'm just, I'm going to show you the picture in the book because I don't want to describe it, if I'm being honest. And only Augie sees this going lightning fucking speed. Hey, uh, I don't, I don't mean to, I don't mean to worry everybody, but I'm gonna worry everybody. We have a really big fucking thing. It's going really fucking fast. We gotta get this ship right fucking now. What? Where? And what? Where? I don't see it. it. Are we gotta, we gotta go? Other... I don't see it. Where is it? You Our four other it. smaller versions of that. <laughs> and there's four more besides it. We need to go. Oh, oh, yeah, wait, what is it? It's a oh. big, it's a big fucking fish, and there are four other small ones. Kuriyami, oh. I don't like this. <laughs> oh, okay. has he been eating more bad food again? Okay, Possibly. Inside, inside places. I don't, I don't know how to, how to use an inside. Right. Place point to it. Where is it? <laughs> Aki, point there. And there are four more behind it. I'm gonna look in the same direction he's pointing. Like zoing scoops. All right. Uh, I, I assume I see it. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck! Run. Uh, um, wait, what's going on? Grabs fish. Curry, I mean, just big. Want. We're running. What? Ah. Oh, she's she's on my back. Oh, that's right. We're, we're going. <laughs> Hey, right. Kuriyami, I don't, I don't want to worry you. There's a really big fish, and there are four other smaller fish, and they're all very aggressive, and they look like they're going to fucking eat us. Oh. I would like everyone oh. to roll initiative. This is how I'm going to do it. Um, because you all are one circle, I'm going to have all of your initiatives grouped together. Um, so it'll be all players, and then it's going to be all monsters. How does that sound? Okay. Okay. That right, way, so you we're all take our combined roles and then divide it by how many players there are. Well, if you got this is what I'm gonna do at the top of like your <laughs> round. Um, I will ask you guys as a team: Do you want to fight or do you want to run? Um, you guys have to choose as a group to run. Um, if you guys choose to fight, then you all will take your initiative and fight the creatures. Then the creatures will take their turn. Does that make sense? Okay. Mm hmm Okay, cool. Um.
I won't be including Tinder in the initiative. Because uh, Tinder sure. strapped onto me. Uh, Kuriyami, Captain, what are your dexterities? 17. I have a dexterity of 15. Mm -hmm. Hi. So handsome, I love you. This is a really good cream soda. You're a good cream soda. You. Keep it in the bedroom, gosh. <laughs> I am in the bedroom. Joke's on you. Oh, dear. My oh, bed is for this. right here. Um, I will roll for Opal, though. I have a vibrating cat on my lap. I thought you were going to stop at vibrator. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> oh, Opal! What happens when I use fluorite dice for opal? I forget. Are those the good dice? Yes. Okay. She go got ahead. a natty twenty. God. Do you want to use the metal dice for the villains? Yes, they come please. in a nice leather bag with an eye. So many eyes. All right. It's just the one. And then you have four sharks coming after you. Which is why I said, "Wow, I hate this page in this book." Valid. So, yeah. What is your? Blah, 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 blah. Do you get anything to roll? I'm gonna assume no. What are you doing, Benny? Ah, yes, dice. Go. Oh, I went to Anime Boston this year, and there, I, I regret not sticking my hand in it. Someone just had an inflatable pool full of dice and you could like get a cup and like just dip it in there and however many dice you got you got like it just costed a flat amount that's so cool that's awesome i love that i'm surprised it didn't pop i would have lost money i assume it was Probably all like made sure to keep all the yeah. d4s at the top <laughs> <laughs> i think i yeah. think the reason i didn't go for it is because i saw mostly like d6s i was like i could buy a board game and get like 50 of those it is like the most used die so like yeah. yeah I mean it's fair but at the same time it's so common that so. pretty dies plus like you know I don't use the ones I have right now so I use a lot of d6 for Warhammer so With I got, like, them for decision making I'll hit you up next year Peter I'm sorry. I'm almost done. Actually, speaking of hitting me up for things, I have Sea of Thieves downloaded. Ooh. I haven't really been playing lately, mostly because I've been grinding in like the two games I've been streaming and playing too much Fall Guys. <laughs> That's fair. That's very fair. I've been I'm this Vegas. close to the Becca Godzilla skin. I'm Ooh. playing the opposite of this game. I'm playing New Vegas. Oh dear God. Um. All right. So the sharks rolled really low. So you guys are gonna go first. Um. Oh, I'm yeah. going to have you guys decide as a team. Do you want to try to run to the boat, or do you want to try and fight? Um. Question. Is it? Do you want me to? So you can get to. About here. If it would actually let me. I'm just gonna. Fuck. You. How big are they compared to us? You can get about, I think it's that here. Yeah, there. Uh. Um, they appear to be. They are huge creatures. They are huge? Okay. Uh, Selva's gonna vote to. Fucking run for it. Uh, Martin's gonna vote for that as well. Uh, are they 30 feet away or less? 
I can double check. Uh, yes. Five, seven, uh, there's five, one that's five. 20 feet away. No, they're, they're the two closest to you are 20 feet away. Okay. The last, uh, uh, if we run, also are we able to cast spells still? Um, it just I'll run? say yes, because you're using your movement. All right. Um, so, I have a question. What's up? I have a spell that increases movement if I attack somebody. Would that affect us as a whole? Um, it would tell you. Granted, we would have to attack them. So, <gasps> mm -hmm. Is that the baby? Oh. How much it's would it affect boy. your running by any chance? Boy. Uh, what's about? Uh, da, da, da. The hit my walking screen speed increases by thirty feet. Also, if I use it, it doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Ooh, that's oh, is this nice. Zephyr Strike? It is Zephyr Strike. <laughs> Zephyr Strike! <laughs> Zephyr Strike! So I think that's a self spell. Okay. Um, so I'm I mean, gonna... it definitely is. I just didn't know if we'd get okay. any bonuses for the party. I'm going to say no on that one. But if you guys okay. want to move, I would say you can move as a whole. Do you guys all uh, vote to move forward? Oh, definitely. Yes. Um, yes. Let's really I... move. Before we, uh, <clears throat> sorry, please go ahead. It's okay. I was hoping to. Oh gosh. I want to shit myself. That's not so if good. you guys do want to cast spells, I'm gonna go through initiative order if that makes sense. Yeah, of course, of okay. course. Yeah. Um, I do want to try and do a hold monster. On um. Oh boy, I could try on the big boy. Okay, um, I will say let's do the other turns. You're third in an initiative, okay? Hold one second. Hey! Hey! Oh, knock it off! Oh my um, god, I... stop! Don't give me that look, you're an idiot. I love you, but you're not <laughs> smart. Smooth brain only. I felt that. These kids. Kids these days. I'm gonna grab some tea real quick. So thanks. And I'm got, gonna spill it. I got s'mores tea. I should. Um, it's too late to make tea right now. I can't do that I during D and D. I'm gonna make some after. I think oh, Peter. what Opal's going to do. Oh, I'll message you later. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's yeah. okay. It's okay. I think what Opal's going to do to try to provide more cover is create or cast fog cloud Ooh. um 120 feet so oh basically the entire fucking thing so i'm just gonna draw a fucking line you know i'm, I'm not even gonna bother um the entire field is now covered in mist so I will roll for the sharks to try to find you. Oh shit. Um, but everyone will have disadvantage on like perception checks and stuff like that. Okay. Damn it. So, uh, my question, I still have detect magic up because it lasts 10 minutes or until I stop concentration. Uh, and I can sense anything within 30 feet of me. Are these things magical, or are they just, like, regular old run-of-the-mill sharks? Um, the one that's in the lead, it's not necessarily magic, but it does... See, I don't know if that is magic. I'm gonna say... It's. How am I gonna phrase this? Like, it's not casting spells, but there's like an aura about it that you're probably gonna wanna stay away from. Okay. Alright, yeah, exactly. Alright. So I can sense that through the smoke then? Kind of? Yeah. Alright. Um. Then. Do you guys wanna move first and then do all your spells and stuff? Or do you um, want to do your spells and then move? I'll leave that up to the rest of you, because that'll depend on what I do next. 
I would personally prefer if we moved first. Okay. Yeah. As my spell would probably be more. Yeah. Alright, I'm okay with that then. Okay. So. I remember that spot. It's like, I think, right here. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. All right. So you guys are right there. And then top of the round is going to be... Oh, well, I already had Opal go. She cast that fall cloud. Uh, so Captain Saldit. I got nothing. <laughs> you got nothing? You well, I mean, I have two spells, but it's like I could, you know, uh, hot actually, mark one of them, but I don't know if it's actually going to do anything. I mean, it would keep okay. track at l on at least one of them. Blind fire a pistol at them. Underwater. He still or... believes that his gun does not work. Yeah. I Can just I want see? you to know, too, you guys do have the option of stealthing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What the And you would what have advantage mean? because you're in cover. Hmm. Um, excuse me, you little thug. Young man? What are you doing? <laughs> what? What? Since when do we climb on top of tables? Count Audacity. Stressors. Since he wanted Audacity. to. I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. Young man? Um. Young man? Man? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I will Hunter's Mark the biggest one because it's got a range of 90 feet. Okay, baby. Um, so I can at least keep an eye on it. Okay, so the one closest to you is the big one. Oh, that's the, okay. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. That's horrifying. Um, He's I mean, the leader, other bro. Than, other than that, I don't really have much I can do. Okay. Do you want to try Stinky? Because you guys can also use your action to stealth, stinky, stinky. too, if you want. Do you want to do sure. that? Sure. How does that work? Um, roll for stealth. Okay. I rolled a 22. You did so good. They don't even know you're there. I'm going to actually write it down so that way when they do perception checks, if they score be like below, obviously they're not going to see you. Uh, what did you get? 22? Mm-hmm. Perfect. All right. Next up is Kariyami. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Um, all right, Kariyami. All right, well, let me see. Here. Let me see. Let me get a look at it here. All right, so these guys are over here. How do I... How far are they from us again? Is it like... They First are... First one's 20 15. feet. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, I would like to... And they have a little thing of darkness on them. A little is thing that, of darkness? Is that correct? Like a little... A uh, fog cloud. The fog cloud? The whole, it the is, whole battlefield's covered It's covering the entire battlefield. Wait, the entire battlefield? It's 120 feet, what? bro. Wait, how big is that? Let me see, let me see. The entire actually, side of the map. Listen, that, <laughs> that might work. That might just work for what I want to do, so... The entire size um, of the map. So you, if you wanted to, you have advantage on stealths. They have disadvantage on perceptions. 24 squares by 24 squares. Wait, we have right. advantage on stealth? Oh, shit. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I mean, you never know. I could roll a... Uh... Nope, never mind. Okay. I mean, still good. I... Oh, gosh. Is it worth it? Let's see here. Let me see really, really quick. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, cool, 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 cool. What Kurayami would like to do is where she last remembers seeing the monsters, uh, she would like to, right here, right here, cast major image of her going, um... All right, now listen, this next one I learned from the kelp. This is called WAP. <laughs> 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 and she will create a, um, hold on, let me first. You said right here? Uh, 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 uh yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, major image has a lot of shit to it. 
description wise, but essentially, I'm just making an illusion of that's my height going cha 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 cha. That's some wet ass pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping that that will be enough to distract them while we abscond and I will use my um oh gosh can we can we move or have we already done that and now we're just doing the actions you've already moved you're doing actions okay cool 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 I will hmm I will do da, 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 da. what can I do with my bonies what the the fuck did I ask? Um, I was wondering what that noise was. She whiz. Um, who here is not good at stealth? Martin. Martin? I'm gonna look over at Martin and be like, alright, listen, Martin. Listen, 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 alright? You yes. got the eye of the tiger. You're, you're one cool... <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> you got the eye of the tiger, baby. Yep, you got the eye of the tiger, babe. <laughs> Nope. Um, you're Martin, and I give you bardic intuition? <laughs> question mark? <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't after hearing that. <laughs> you're inspired by the fact that Kuriyami knows you so well. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Is that your turn? Yes. Bookworm. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm gonna drop an ice storm on the sharks. Oh, jeez. To slow them down even further. Ooh, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you know what? Maybe wet ass pussy actually means ice storm. <laughs> I don't, I don't think uh, you want an ice storm. So, so it's just gonna walk out, eat me now. Just That's get it cool. over with. <laughs> okay. Have you ever seen the movie <laughs> Teeth? It kind of resembles <laughs> that. Yeah, we don't, we don't talk about that. So, um, um, the sharks have to roll a dexterity saving throw of 17. Alright, it's a 20 foot? Uh, 20 foot radius. Okay, so 40. Components, pinch of dust, and a few drops of water. I'm just gonna count really quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, alright. And what are they doing? Dexterity? Uh, they have to all roll dexterity saving throws. I'll start <coughs> with... The big guy. These dice have like favored me so far. Let's see if it continues. <sighs> Bro, you're a fucking shark underwater. How do you have a plus zero to dex? <laughs> <laughs> that is an eight for the big guy. Damn. These dice That's rough. loving you. <gasps> Wait a minute, Hannah. Yep. Did you know that um, Monster Prom is getting another spinoff called Monster Road Trip? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Can I just I'm say? Excited. We need to have a day where we play Monster Prom with Bob. I was literally just fucking thinking that because Bob and I were talking about Monster Prom not too long ago, and I was like, it's competitive dating sim, let's go. Literally, if any game were to sum up me and my personality in one go, it's literally Monster Prom. Yes. And also, I Zoe agree. is full inspiration for me. Yes. I also agree. I, I enjoy Listen, I enjoy yeah. Monster Prom. Mm -hmm. Just let just say when and we'll fucking get it done. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. Uh, what? Sorry, I was I was looking on um I was looking on Steam and they have the um um the Pride the season of Pride sale. So I was like, Ooh, what's that? And they have a lot of cool games. And then I scroll down and I see Monster Road Trip and I'm like, what the? No, you're Wait, fine. Yeah. Anyway, I'm game. excited. All right, I'm good. <laughs> uh, they all fail. Oh. Holy shit! Holy nice shit. job. Uh, do, you, do you want me to keep these pre-rolled ones, or the, do you want me to roll again? Uh, I'll leave that up to you. Uh, take yeah. the pre-rolled ones. Nice. All Those right, so gushy numbers. 24 total damage? Yes. Uh, 10 of it is bludgeoning, and 14 of it is cold, if that matters. I guess it doesn't. 
Bitch, you live in cold water. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> I was gonna say, is it cold water though? But we're kind of on Neptune. It's a ways away. I from said the sun. It's frozen water. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, and that area where the storm is taking place for one turn is now considered a difficult terrain. Oh boy. And it's 40 feet high. Very nice. Me too. Oh shit. And I know you're not, you're small as shit. So wait, what exactly did you do? An ice storm. Yep, I created an ice storm that's now surrounding them for a whole turn. Uh, that'll slow them down. Can you read minds? <laughs> Very nice. Because I had something different, but the same thing in mind. Listen, don't As... melt the ice. <laughs> don't melt uh, the ice. No, no, no. I don't hey, melt I'm... the ice. That is going to be my turn. All right. Martin Arawaras. No, 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 you're saying Martin, it wrong. You're, you're, you're Martin. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited to bully you in the next campaign. Me too. Oh God. Same. Uh, I have no spells I want to do. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna stealth. Okay. Roll with advantage. Or, you already have disadvantage, so roll normally. Actually, roll. I don't because of my armor. Because it's mithril. Oh, that's right! Urine is coming in clutch. Yeah. So you stealth a 6. So my stealth is 19. 19? Oh advantage. my god. I'm so sorry, I only saw the 6. Thank you for keeping me healthy. You really just wanted to punish him, didn't you? I know, really. I'll punish him later. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm leaving. Will you, though? Just curiosity back I will yet. fart so bad in the bedroom. Oh god, no, not again. Oh. <laughs> I will have the toastiest oh. toots and consider yourself punished. Oh god. 19? We have the worst farts. No, babe, that's you. I will say, I though, say we're just stinky boys. I will say, though, this poor man was putting my new shower head up. And as he's doing that, I'm right next to him trying to be a helpful partner, like, do you need anything? Any snacks? And then I fart, and it just stays there for a good five minutes. It was awful. <laughs> I actively I was, harmed him. <laughs> I was lifting oh stuff above my head, like, trying to fiddle with it, and I was just like, Ugh! <laughs> Oh my god, Hannah, I was at the grocery- I was coming back from the grocery store with my mom yesterday, and she ripped a very <laughs> silent, but terribly deadly fart, and it got to a point where, like, it was, like, going through the five stages of grief, Hannah. <laughs> it started very, very slow and subtle, and I was like, oh, that's stinky, that's weird, no. and then it started to grow, and then I oh, fucking god. literally- I shit you not, like, it almost reminded me of the fart that Brianna ripped. Nothing oh. is that bad. Except I literally, I almost puked, and I'm not even exaggerating. I was gagging in the car. Can I just I was say, trying to throw myself out the window. That sounds like Henry Oaks' three-part symphony fart. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was <laughs> yes. the most beautiful thing that is to ever happen. What I went through, and that, it was, I was. Ugh. My favorite fun nah. fact about that nah. is that actually made someone throw up. <laughs> it's great. It did. Can't imagine why. <laughs> No, nothing was worse than that one time with Brianna when she thought she had Crohn's disease. <laughs> Quite literally, Casey came oh. in and was like, this is the strongest aerosol in the world. Let's spray it. And we went through the entire can and that fart, ten minutes later, was still trucking through. I, sh I just... I don't want to... It's a I'm lot. Getting more flashbacks. I'm getting it's, more flashbacks. It's a lot when a fart is ingrained into your memory. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, um I do you do for the Obby? hell campaign noted. 
No! Oh god, our first enemy encounter is a succubus named Brianna that farts at you. <laughs> I mean, someone's gonna be into it, that's for sure. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> gamer farts. Up bitches out there. Oh my god, she's gonna... She's gonna do gamer farts and then start yelling League of Legends <laughs> slurs at you. No! Well, so I, I can't make a great it campaign be Brie. I can't. <laughs> I can't, can't make the succubus be Bree because Bree's gonna be in the campaign. So. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, you can do what Henry did or uh, Will Campos did. That's he, true. Yeah, yeah, he literally put like the actual character people in the yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think she might kill me. <laughs> Just she uh, doesn't know where you live. I know where you live, fine. but she doesn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Two people here do. Yeah. So what you doing Y'all are both fucking on, menaces. Oh god, it's me? Yeah. Oh, did fuck. We finish, did we finish Martin's? I'm not sure. We were talking for so long about farts. Martin stealthed. I stealthed and... I stealthed. Uh, what are you doing? I'm a stealth. <laughs> what are you doing, Stinky? He says he's doing stealth. Come on. <laughs> Bob is Thank God for that stinky. second one. Am I stinky? Shit. Am no. <laughs> no, you smelled very nice when I met you. <laughs> I'm glad someone thinks so. 10 out of 10, good smell. That's a good smelling boy. Better mm -hmm. than Peter. <laughs> Peter, why are you stinky? <laughs> why are you stinky? Stinky, stink, stink. <laughs> it's because he had a farts around him so much. Is it exactly? Trust me. <laughs> Can I just say, Peter worked at a Boy Scout camp, and the entire staff all agreed that Peter's farts were the worst, and if he was in the bathroom too long, they knew to stay away because, and I quote, it would create a disgusting aura fog <laughs> that no one could escape. Bro. Okay, but these <laughs> are my bad. friends, and they also like to exaggerate. Okay, your family also agree with me because they know your ass cheats. Okay, but they also produce the same smells. I'm so yeah. upset that we're back on this topic, and that's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so stealth of 24. Joke's on you, Peter. It smells really bad in here now. <laughs> look at so the dead 20... inside look. <laughs> do you do anything else? Uh, no, no. Just, just the stealth. Yo, I'm yeah. dying on the inside. That's like really bad rotten eggs. Bruh. <laughs> uh, Benedict and Lana. Yeah. What do you so do? We probably see Bookworm's Ice Storm. So we do stealth and do not what we first had in mind. Okay. We keep it for later. Roll. So we, we stealth in. Yeah. One, two, god damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Oops. I'm Stefan. You're doing we great, are, sweetie. We feel like we are kelp. In, in your head, no. Uh, Lana, you think, is singing in your head, uh, WAP, but it's actually <laughs> on the outside. Oh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> um. All right. First up is the reef shark. Um, and their speed is cut in half. All right. Ooh. So that's the first one. And then the second one. Wait, are they not going to go after the Kiriyami clone? Oh, yeah, huh? Oh. Yeah, 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 that's a distraction. Oh, God. Don't Where forget, did I have it? she's there. Alright, so what's the AC on it? Oh, there is no AC. So if they bite into it, they know that's fake? 
Yep. Okay. Um, but that's how it uses one of its actions. And its movement. Mm-hmm. Ba, 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 ba. It, uh, what's your... Oh, it doesn't have an AC. So it bites, and it's like, oh. <laughs> 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 Just like in it Home Improvement. Tim the Tool Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As a little boy, I watched that show a lot, and I loved it. Me too. Home Improvement was a very good show. Right, Sean? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm so mad at you. I've never seen an episode. I'm so mad at uh, you. The other day, I accidentally knocked over my lamp. And uh, the bulb shattered with the metal parts still in it. So I was like, Peter, just get me uh, the the broom or dustpan and brush and get me, like, cut a potato in half and come over here. And he was like, what the fuck do you mean, like, cut it in half? And I was like, just trust me. Um, so I unplug the lamp and I go, okay, I'm while I'm sweeping, can you stick the potato in and start twisting? It'll get the metal part out. And he was like, I've never heard of that. This isn't, and I was like, just trust me. And he did it. And then he was like, oh, shit. And he was, like, really impressed. He was like, I can't believe you knew that. That was an awesome trick. And I told Sean, in confidence, I need to look sexy and cool in front of Peter like I'm a sexy little handyman. And uh, he can't know that I actually knew this trick from Home Improvement. Look, and Sean immediately added <laughs> Sean immediately added Peter in Discord. Hannah got that from Home Improvement. <laughs> Fun fact, I found out about that because you were upset about it and shouting about it before I looked at Discord. Peter, I need you to understand. So it's on you, too. No, I literally looked at Peter and I was like, I need to tell you this before you find out from anyone else, specifically Sean. I'm a little shit sometimes, I can't help it. I trusted you! You were That's the chosen mistake. one. You were my brother, Sean! I loved you! <laughs> May I offer you one single uh in the yeah, front? Yeah, the two of us, who's on fire and losing limbs. <laughs> May I offer you one super pointy D4 in these trying times? Oh, wait, I would like that, please, in my mouth. <laughs> no. Yum. <laughs> Forbidden candy. Delicious. No. Um... Yeah, so the shark goes to eat Kuriyami. And he goes, oh, and then uh, Kuriyami just, uh, when it's attacked, does it go away or does it no. stay? It stays. Um, she immediately just starts doing like, and start, huh? she goes like this the and clone. starts dancing. Yeah. Nice. Very, yeah, the clown. Nice. Um, and like projecting out as if like she's. At like a concert singing. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. She listen, my Kura Kur Kuratu is constantly Kur rocking out. Kura Kura. Kura. Rock out. Singing oh, wow. Oh, why am I popular tonight? Mm -hmm. You're popular every, every night. night. What do you mean? Yep. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I'll be right back. Um next up is the second. Why do I keep fucking putting my dice away? Oh, I don't you know why always I need dice in your life. You know. For everything. You, you want to decide what you want to cook? Roll a dice. You decide if you want to go to work? Roll a dice. <laughs> <laughs> you need to wine. decide if you need to breathe two or three times? Roll a dice. How much money do I need today? Hmm. I suppose. So that shark can't do anything. Blah, 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 blah. What is your stress hole fit? I'm so sorry. I need to hit the bathroom real quick. That's a dude. Do it. And he's gonna roll to attack. And he manages to miss a completely still illusion. And then giant shark. Boy, it ha- but- I rolled really low, bro. Ha- okay. Trust me. Misjudge the height. 
bites the other shark. Starts a feeding frenzy. Alright. So basically they're all trying to swarm the illusion. And right. uh, a lot of them are biting and missing. Uh... No, not missing. Um, a lot of them are biting and being like, what the fuck is going on with this? Um, so it's going to be at the top of the round again. Do you guys want to run towards the hole or do you want to fight? Let us run. 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 Bravely run away, away. <laughs> running, 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 running. Oh yeah, you can make it inside the hole. This Let's do that. Okay. All right. So while the sharks are distracted, you immediately book it into the hole. Um, you now stand inside, not necessarily a pitch black submarine, but it takes a little bit for your eyes to adjust. And you see a lot of, you know, when you're underwater and there's a lot of floating shit around, think of it like you're in the upside down. Or not the up yeah, the upside down, how it's like all floaty shit. Particles in the water. It looks like that. Once your eyes Wait. adjust. So like where's the light coming from in there? Like yeah. I said, your eyes adjust and then you start seeing it. Fun fact, that's why normally pirates have eye patches. They cover one eye to mm -hmm. have one eye already able to see in the dark when they go they go under the deck. Under the sea. Lucky pirates having two fucking eyes. Wait, <laughs> oh, I thought it was so they could fight better at night. That's not important. Yes. Both. Yeah, it, yeah it's one's both. used to the dark, and then one's used to the light. So. Used to darkness. I mean, I don't know why pirates need an eye that is used to me, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. So you guys enter the ship. Uh, it looks haunted as hell. Uh, um, well, would I roll to just kind of check the area? Perception? Mm-hmm. Okay. I Is forget what's an at 20. Did we agree that I get disadvantage on perception rolls or not? I forget. Yes, you do. You did? Okay. You better That's get another worse. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Oh well. Um. Edge. I will say you don't see anything, but you in particular hear. I cannot hear you. Oh. Oh. Nope. Not picking up. This <laughs> heavy breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Is this, it's like a heavy breathing sound? Yes. Or like a shallow scream? Um, it's more so like whispering, but the voice is just barely escaping you. So, I still have to text magic up. Uh, is there anything within 30 feet of us, magic? I'm going back on our time where we went inside a submarine, and I'm like, no, that was a thin bitch. That was a tiny, tiny submarine. That was... I assumed that this one was like a nuclear submarine, and the one that we went on uh, on that one date was like a World War II submarine, which is like even smaller. Oh, and then there was that time that we went on the, uh, Madon. Mm-hmm. That was fucked. I can't believe that, that was one bug. was walking around barefoot with all that rusty fucking metal everywhere. Couldn't be hey, me. Hey, yo, it was on sight. Couldn't ah. be me. Yo, uh -huh. I fucking saw yeah, a child come really after weird. me, and I did- I fucking- I- I didn't hesitate. You pulled the trigger so fast. <laughs> I did not hesitate. We, we still have to play the next one, but once you get your shit sorted. Mm-hmm. Um, Money. it was- it was on sale the other day, I think. No, that's Man yeah, of the Dawn, I think. Pick. So, would you consider the inside dark or dim light? Um, well, it's nighttime outside, so it's even darker inside. Um, 
It's not oh, magically it's dark. Um, just dark. Is it just yeah, like normally like I said, pitch it's, black? I said, uh, um, it's not pitch black, but it does take a little bit for your eyes to adjust. I will use fairy fire <laughs> because it's uh, it's a ten foot cube. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Tinder radiates light. Yeah, that too. I have. He's also wrapped light... up though. Yeah, I have a wrapped up light source on my chest. <laughs> I got a battleship. You're a battleship. Neat. This fucking but guy. what I wanted to do was use fairy fire because in a 10 foot cube it will outline for me in a green light any creature or object it lands on and makes it dim light okay um I can uh, copy you... and paste it over no you're good if you... I'm trying to think of what I want to do I mean the text that people can read you <laughs> you open your hands and this green fairy fire wraps around all of you and you look around to see if there's anything else with you and for a moment you feel safe but then you look further in and you see what looks like a see-through skull face and then it immediately retreats back into the submarine. Oh. Well, okay. We all are having light on us now. <laughs> uh, I forgot. Was there any magic? Because I kind of zoned out for a sec. Hey, Chris. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. Sorry, my battery died. <laughs> Oh, no worries. I saw you, like, playing with that, and I was like, oh, no. Um, did you hear any of that? Uh, I did not. Okay. Um, I said that Bendict and Lana put, like, this green light out, and you all, for the most part, were like, oh, yeah, there's nothing here. And then you looked over and saw a, what looks like a see-through skeleton face, or a skull, and then immediately retreated back into the submarine. Uh, oh no. Did I see it with my poor perception roll? <laughs> I will say you all saw it. Okay. Uh, well, was, there any, was there any magic aside from the party? Um, I'm genuinely thinking if it's magic or not. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. You feel three. Oh god. I thought I saw like a bo like I looked up and I thought I saw something moving right here. <laughs> and I was just like, oh no, I'm scaring myself. That's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh you sense three magical beings very quickly moving around within the ship. Mm. Uh, the spell description says I can learn the school of magic if any, is it just like the creature itself or is it like anything like necromancy magic around or whatever? It's not necromancy. Um, it's a type of magic you haven't really seen before, and you don't know exactly where to pinpoint it. Hmm. I don't like this. Neither do I. So Olympia. Agree that everyone saw that skull, right? Yep. Yes. Death is just another part of life. It will happen someday. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
That's what I meant to say. Oh, Opal. okay. Hi. Where is this thing supposed to be? At the core. Then let's I need, go. I need the nuclear reactor. The what? Um, no, like... What is that? It is... <clears throat> It is, oh God. So what I'm building, it's gonna sound really bad, but I promise it's not. Uh, the parts I needed were to help me build a machine that does really big explosions. Oh, and... a bookworm does that. Except, yeah, I it's mean, a like... it's a special kind of explosion, um, that would hurt us normally, but for Neptune it heals him. It's okay. Bookworm hurts us too. I think we're all set there. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't do it intentionally usually. Damn. Uh... Call out. <laughs> so, I had to. Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. I mean, no offense, Bookworm. You usually hit the other people, you know, just <laughs> once in a while. He's really good at hitting things. I'm sorry, Martin. <laughs> it's okay. I forgive you. I don't hold it against you. These things happen. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I only know that he was finishing Krampus. The, the only no, thing No, that was is... when he shot me. Oh, no, you're fine. Everything okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, everything's good. Cool beans. Um, Opal oh. looks at you guys and is like, the thing is, remember how long it took me to uninstall the uh, the thing at the festival? A very I, long time. I have to be extra careful with this because like I said, it will permanently hurt all of us if I'm not careful. Okay. I have no concept of object permanence, so let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Augie. Oh my god. You um, and I, we don't fear the skull. Hurry so, on, uh, A4. Uh, okay. oh. For, um... Did you okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, basically, you guys got on this ship. Light cast fairy fire that lets him see things around him in the, the fire. And he saw a skull face that immediately retreated back into the submarine. Uh, oh, Martin no. Martin was using his detect magic and sensed three magical beings uh, running around the um, submarine really fast. And then, um, but he can't really detect what type of magic it is or, or know what type of magic it is. Um, and then Opal is basically saying, hey, I'm making a nuclear bomb to heal Neptune. Um, uh, one question. Look. The creature was in the 20-foot cube of fairy fire I made? <laughs> Just the face. It was still inside it, basically. Yes, and then it immediately ran away. Then it had the to make a dexterity saving throw, I think. I send it in. A dexterity saving throw? Yeah, mo one moment. Uh, yep, that is correct. Mm, it has okay. outlined in light if it fails a dexterity saving throw. So if it's failed the dex save, <laughs> it is outlined and the light is still on it, even if it swims away. Okay. Um. I will do that, but it is completely out of sight at this point. Yeah. Dex 17. Wait, this means you cast on the rest of the party too, right? Oh, I cast it in front of us. Okay. How long does it last? It lasts uh, one minute as long as I concentrate on it. Alright, so it failed. 
Yeah. So one minute long, it has this light particles on it. Okay. Um, Opal has basically said she needs to go to the core um, to get the part, and it's going to take a while to get it because she needs to be extraordinarily careful with it to make sure that it doesn't actually give you radiation damage. So, uh... Do do you know your way around this place by any chance? I've never been here before. Oh, wonderful. Radiation. Um, Is that something like radiant? So something holy? Like the gods? That's a good question, is it? (laughs) <laughs> it is a type of damage that was made by humans and it's think of it like necromancy it's bad and it damages you and it gets inside your skin it can be bad it puts ghosts in your blood ah okay is that from a... something Wait, that sounds so familiar sometimes <laughs> that's okay have... I can give her to that to ask nicely if the dead want to help you no. to help the living no uh, this is awful by the way she, she's like no no it, it, it's bad so that thing is bad to us but to Neptune it will heal him What is Neptune that, like, something that would, like, do this much damage to us would, like, heal him? Why is Neptune? <laughs> that too. Neptune is one of the more powerful gods. He rules over the ocean. And one could even say he is a king. And look, I've known where you're going with this since you said we gotta heal him with a nuclear bomb, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but then radiation is something only a god can handle. So it is radiant, something that only gods can do. I mean if we use this thing on like if Uranus it... or Jupiter. But like, radi- help them? radiant tends to heal. This this isn't good. Oh no. It heals no. a god, but not us. Radiant heals things that are divine. Like, say, if I divine smite uh, an angel, it would heal the angel how much I divine smite it for. And probably uh, send you to hell, too. Uh, yes, that too. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Oh, he's no, you already know what the angel there? would do, Martin? The angel what? would probably do this, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, Augie, do we go after the skull face thingy? I don't know. After it? Probably. Then let's go. Okay. I I need the core. We're we're going to the core. Look, there's no use that you need the core to heal the god, and the god needs to be healed for us to do our job. So us standing around here just (laughs) chatting about it ain't doing anyone any good at the moment. I'm pretty sure this. Yeah. What if we brought the god here and pushed him into the core? Oh oh no, he's too heavy. I mean, Augie could probably lift most people. How is I got that four an arms, insult like... to your own god if you call him too heavy? We're not fat phobic here. What if he just tripped? What if what if we just give him a little? We want to travel to the core. Let's go. All right. Well, let's keep going with the original plan. Uh, Opal, lead the way. Uh, however best you can. Also, I want to say I'm sorry. I didn't mean to imply that you were light. Huh? 
Oh, I didn't. I didn't mean to imply that you were fat phobic. To be honest, even if you would imply it, I would have not recognized it at all. <laughs> I just wanted to apologize if I made you feel like I did. I did not even okay. recognize the bit of it. <laughs> I'm too stupid for that. <laughs> no. 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 Um. So Opal ten, uh, tries to leave you. She doesn't know her way around, so I'm going to do a survival check. <clears throat> the dice legit love you guys today. Well, yes. Good. Um, That's a nice change of pace. As you go through the submarine, um, you see lots of different rooms you hear one of them making like a beeping noise which for your perspectives is like a sonar room um you see several rooms with bunks in them and once you get further into the ship you see one room that has, for your perspective again, like torpedoes, a giant fucking engine. And Opal starts looking at the engine and um, and lo looking at the I already forgot what I called them. Not missiles. Torpedoes. Torpedoes. She starts looking at those, and she starts trying to figure where the nuclear reactor could be. Um, so it's it's gonna take me a little bit to find it. It's gonna take me a little bit to dismantle, and then I have to put the machine together so we can go to Neptune's. So... I don't know if you guys want to stay here and be safe. I don't know if you guys want to see what that was. I would I, I would love some company so I know I don't die. I will stay here. To protect Augie? you from the ghosts. Augie, do, you want, do you want to find out what it was? Uh, let's go with Opal. Alright. Captain? I mean, if we're together, we're the most safe we could possibly be in this giant metal ship, so I feel like exploring and cutting it off, it's, it's very much a, a bad situation to get split up while you see it when you see a face, and it darts off. You don't follow the face. You stay You stay together. Would you say I you're, don't uh, know what it is. Would you say you're uh, not facing the facts? No, I, I would not say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Who I... knows? If it is an animal, I can maybe learn and can be this animal. I don't Did think that like was an, an animal, animal, Benedict. Well, you could try your luck with the sharks once we get out of this big metal sandwich, okay? Benedict, can you turn into one of those sharks? Good idea. Can I? I try to concentrate on try no, to be one of now, these sharks. No, not now. <laughs> all right, all right. Like, have you ever been on a submarine before? It is like the single most compact, compressed space possible. I know. You just see Opal. just gonna instantly die from being squished. You just see Opal go. Oh God, die. please don't! I don't know where the reactor is. <laughs> This is the opposite of what I wanted. Nuclear <laughs> it's always sunny title. Bandicoot and Lockheed and nuclear much as, And as much as I try, I can't transform into one of these sharks because these were categorized huge. And I can't do that. Uh, Sag. <laughs> they were too big for me. Okay, I'll pull lead the way. Oh, you're already in the engine room, so she's just kind of looking oh, okay. around trying to figure it out uh, so what are these help? things and i 
poke with my staff against the torpedo. <laughs> oh god, please don't. That will explode in here, and then just not great things are gonna happen. Can we use it against the sharks? You know, if I you do that, you're gonna have a bad time. I don't know what will happen if I'm gonna be honest, but I don't wanna risk it. Augie, I have an idea. Oh no. You have your two extra arms, right? Yeah, I have the. I have the. the... So, how yeah. many of these explosive stick thingies do you think can you? take with you how easily can you Hang get on. them out the door without smacking them into something and possibly exploding Hang yes. on, i gotta take my i gotta take my shoes off to count oh wait what <laughs> <laughs> Augie, you can't count you get to like I, if, five and that's about it no, no if i if i take four I, I hate... yeah i can only take yeah. <laughs> torpedoes are four thousand uh, th thirty five hundred pounds they are very heavy, yeah. yes. Yeah. I mean, so if we, say it's Mark 14, Mark 13 torpedo. If we get one of these things outside oh. to the sharks, and I am able to control a bit of water, so I can make that thing go into the sharks. Uh, I could probably carry like one if they're that heavy with the forearms. It's gonna, it's gonna, that's a lot. That's a lot of strain. Okay, at least one. <laughs> yep. Still, like close to a thousand pounds per arm. Yeah. Can you stand on it? You just, if I just skateboard it. You just notice Opal getting increasingly more anxious. <laughs> uh, I'm I mean, when I, look Opal. <laughs> when I travel it over to the sharks, you can ride on it. What, what would I roll to notice how utterly scared this woman is? Perception with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> I still uh, can only roll the 17. You but... can only roll once? Be no, it was... Even was so. it perception? Yeah, because he has technically mm. disadvantage, so yeah. the average out. Oh. But even so, the 16, 16 is high enough, and you <laughs> increasingly anxious. Every time I he goes since... near it. <laughs> With Opal being the one from this world, and saying, do not touch it, I do believe we should listen to the one from this world who's saying do not touch it i don't touch it no one touches it that that's what i'm saying let's see the right mark, now. mark 14 torpedo is three thousand pounds 20 foot six inches long and 21 inches in diameter oh god this was accidentally a peter planet <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it was. We're in a nu early nuclear submarine, um, likely similar to the Nautilus, uh, which was decommissioned in 2002. So I'm gonna help Opal look for the nuclear <laughs> reactor. <laughs> I will too with my one good eye. All right. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm gonna look for ghosts in this room. All right. Um. Uh, I will hail. Uh, bookworm, look with advantage. Opal with advantage, and Captain regular. Is that gonna be a perception or investigation? Oh, the perception. We'll try. You got a ten. You got higher than Opal with advantage. Hey, hey, Augie, we should still yeah. try to do that. Sixteen. Sixteen. Um. You see something semi glowing in the center of like a really big machine. I don't know machines, so I'm just guessing. Oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. Hmm? Is this it? 
Ooh, oh, that's hard to get to. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you. Uh, oh God. Um, and she hands you a shell, and she immediately starts getting to work. Don't spend it all in one place, kid. Thank, thank you. I just turned. <laughs> I just turned to Captain. How much is this worth? I really could not tell you. Um, ten cents at the trinket shop, maybe. Do you think this is like a? Do you think this is like a gold coin compared to a silver coin? <laughs> it just looks be... like a shell. <laughs> uh, it's actually more like electrum. Who uses Electrum? <laughs> I fucking hate Electrum. <laughs> I just throw it on Why? the ground. <laughs> Why can't they? we only use $2 bills? <laughs> it doesn't actually do that, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the audacity to say it's like Electrum. <laughs> Um, we'll end today's session with Opal starting to get in on work, and then we'll start up next week, going from there. How's that sound? It's 11 o'clock. Yeah. I want to sleepy. We're yeah. going out of state tomorrow for an adventure. Yeah, it's 5 a.m. Yeah, you deserve some sleep, say, bro. Sleep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, sleep. I just want to say... I want it to be completely canon that when Kuriyami's brain goes only music, uh, her and Agi have picked up this habit of, guess what song I'm mouthing, and that's what I've been doing this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dancing, and I'm like, nah, you gotta guess it. You gotta guess the fuck song, Agi. Guess the I song. Got you only got two. Yeah. Yeah, and I was distracting Augie also with my torpedo talk. <laughs> I was trying to go back and forth, and I'm like... Ugh. That's why Augie was going through it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, but I, I really want to try that. Um, <laughs> but I hope everyone has a wonderful, magical night. And we'll see you all later! Bye! Bye-bye. <laughs>